Rebecca, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And as a symbol of our love. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you and respect you. Care for you and respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we bo <laughs> both shall live. Bradley, I give you this ring. Bradley, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And a symbol of our love. And a symbol of our love. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Care for you and respect you. Care for you and respect you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. It now gives me the very greatest pleasure to pronounce that you are lawfully joined in marriage. <laughs> Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds, and we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming, we'll keep running. Nothing in our way. Got no reason to wait. Let the journey take you where it wants to. We'll continue to find our way through anything we face. We got what it takes. Here we go. In the years to come, when Brad's let himself go a bit, <laughs> his belly's got bigger, and when Becky can only be bothered to shave her legs when she's going out with her girlfriends and not with you, <laughs> and when you've had a hard day at work and you come back and there's been no housework done, and that's Brad does the housework. <laughs> and when you're feeling stressed and when you can't agree on something that seems important at the time, but it's really not, and just try and remember that at the end of the day, what actually matters is that you love each other and that you have each other. And that's what it's all about. Just love, nothing more complicated than that. Just love. Rebecca is pure of heart, pure of joy, full of kindness and imagination. She always sees the good in people, the bright side, the silver lining, the hope. It's really annoying. <laughs> now that is a very rare and special talent to have. When I think about it, it makes my day knowing that she's always having a good day. I realized years ago that she will never change, no matter how hard life gets. That's just who she is. The first time I met Becky, I come back from the pub after my partner ringing me saying, you best get back here, because she's here. <laughs> so I decided to take two bottles of Stouford Press down home thinking, sound, whatever. Walked in, she come down the stairs. I went, do you want one? And she went, yes. <laughs> Ever since then, when she done that, I knew she was the right one for my brother. She, she's been nothing perfect, joyous. She's brilliant with my daughter, my family. Been welcoming, her family's brilliant. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's come here today and met this special day. So obviously I wanted to thank Becky as well. Um, I think we can all agree that she looks stunning and beautiful today. Um, <laughs> I'll just thank you for being you and putting up with me. Because I can get quite grumpy, obviously. Um, so just thank you. Um, I'll put here, you know, you're beautiful inside and out. And, you know, I'm so lucky to have you. So, yeah, I'm proud to call you my wife. And on that note, I'd like to get everyone to raise a glass for Becky and for you, all of you. Aww. Becky. Becky.